Welcome back to one more uh, tutorial about Semantic Backup Exec 2015. In this tutorial, I will be teaching how to create your first backup job under Semantic Backup Exec. Uh, this is a test environment okay, where we have Windows 2008 R2 with Service Pack 1 with Semantic Backup Exec 2015 trial version I'm running. So to create a, a a backup okay I'll click on uh, backup and storage tab here okay and below we have so many tabs here okay sub options so I'm creating a backup here just click on backup and here we have backup to disk backup to disk and then convert to virtual machine backup to disk and simultaneously convert to virtual machine create a new backup using the settings of an existing backup the option is grayed out because we don't have any uh, uh, backup configured currently. This is a new test environment. So I click on backup to disk. So we should see a new pop up window. Uh, yeah, it's still coming up. Okay, so this is a new pop up window. Okay, where uh, first I'll be uh, by default it will be showing uh, with the server name. Okay, so with followed by backup uh, 00001. So I will remove all that and I'll just uh, name it as a test backup or uh, my first backup job. Okay, and I'll copy the same thing under description. Okay, now what you want to backup? So if the C drive, system state, and the reason why it's showing uh, Microsoft SQL Server instance because this is uh, a semantic backup exec server and we already seen uh, under the services tutorial we have a SQL instance installed on this server by default so I don't want to backup complete C drive okay uh, probably uh, I want to just uh, just backup a, a folder under C drive so I'll just uncheck. I'll just uncheck and uh, expand the local C drive. Yeah, this is the first time, so it will take. Uh, yeah, I don't want all these things. Okay, I just want to back up. Uh, probably a uh, yeah, my test folder. That's it. As of now, currently there is nothing. Click on OK and uh, it's showing as you are not selected so i can also but whenever you're configuring also test your credentials once okay to ensure that uh, you're not facing any uh, authentication issues when the backup runs so yeah it says uh, test all so let's say it's using a system login account is nothing but the local uh, local admin account Depending upon the number of, uh, I mean, resources, uh, the test will take uh, maybe a minute, maybe more than that sometimes. So you can see currently uh, the server level authentication is successful. The local C drive level is uh, successful. So that is what we're looking here. So click on OK. So I'm good to go now. So now we configured uh, the source part, but the backup content. Now the next one is where you want to back up all this content that is the destination so the destination here the options what we have is the uh, disk uh, the local storage which is like backup to disk or a, a, a disk storage or a tape drive or a tape library or uh, to any uh, uh, unc path but currently we only configured uh, a disk based storage okay so um, and now here it also asking for uh, what exactly what kind of backup you want is a full backup an incremental how exactly so uh, this is very convenient way where you can configure you know okay I want uh, every week on Friday full and from um, uh, the remaining is an incremental okay and uh, uh, the default time is 11 p.m. yeah so if if I want I'll just click on edit and I'll modify it I don't want to run Okay, uh, I don't want to run. Uh, I mean, I just want to. 
actually I don't want to run so what should I do I mean um, so it's Friday okay and all right let's see so uh, this is how it is okay <coughs> so here um, there is a as you see there is a storage option by default it selected any storage option which I don't want okay so I'll click on uh, edit backups okay click on uh, edit the template here so I don't want uh, click on see here and click on it I see there are a lot of options here okay so we need to concentrate more here so the schedule part it's running every five day full and incremental every day if you click on storage here okay so I don't want to use any storage here okay I want to use my storage that I already created remember it's a disk storage 001 okay and uh, yes so this is the one and uh, and here you can mention the the tension keep for two weeks so I just want to make it one day because this is a test environment and I want to keep my storage space free every time I'm not using any encryption or compression here, so that should be fine. And the network, any available network, so notification. I can configure notification uh, my like my email address or a customer email address when the backup completes, it will just send an email notification to that particular user saying that hey, the backup is, is successful. And uh, the test run is nothing but see, uh, I can run a test run before actually the actual backup job triggers just to check whether my source resources are um, available or not or my storage uh, resources are available or not my network is is available or not so these it will check uh, these these parameters okay and the verify at the end of the job yeah i need to ensure that uh, yeah the all my uh, backed up contents are healthy or not so it is always recommended to schedule a verified job to ensure that we have a, a healthy resources backed up. So these are all the uh, basic things that you have to uh, uh, concentrate. And if you want any exclusions like C temp or your uh, antivirus something, you can exclude here. And uh, click on OK here to go to the next step <coughs> okay so my first job is created now okay I click on here job monitor let's say it shows or not yes this is my job my first backup if I click on, if you go back to the uh, backup calendar, let's see, it should show my, see, it is scheduled every day, all right? So this is how it will be uh, uh, updated everywhere. I go back here, backup and restore. Uh, see, it's showing uh, a nice calendar, Monday to Friday. Okay, currently, we don't have anything, okay? Now, quickly, I'll go back here. What I'll do is I'll add a couple of uh, files under my test folder okay So I've just created a couple of files here. We have a four, uh, yeah, very less, but that should be enough. So click on and uh, so I'm running a backup here. Okay, click on job monitor. See, it says running, initializing, queued up. 
discovering resources. It's a very small job so yeah it will it should get uh, completed within no time. It's processing. See, it, it's showing as running back up now successful I said yeah it will because uh, yeah it's a very small backup uh, and you can see uh, the buy count is, is less than 8, 8kb okay so I'll just double click on it it should bring up the, uh, the job lock for us so this is my first backup so job information it's showing the server name uh, the job name, the started time, the backup. We have uh, media information where uh, the destination and uh, the media label. And uh, the job operation is a backup, obviously. And uh, yeah, we also mentioned uh, to verify the content. Okay, so we just verified what exactly we backed up. All right, so what else do we want to know? What exactly it did back up? So let's see. It should give us the backup set summary here. Okay, so there are just two files and two directories. Okay, so this is where you need to find whether like actual content is backed up or not under the job. So this is how you will verify the job log. Okay, and there are different uh, like job information, device and media information, job operation, job operation verify, job completion status, job history. So like this is how it looks like pretty uh, much um, uh, clear and straight uh, information here so this is how you will find which tape it used for your backup job okay and how much byte count it is how many directories it is there how many failed how many corrupt files skipped files so this is where you only find that information okay so uh, this ends up our uh, one more tutorial about how to run your first backup job under semantic backup exec 2015 thanks for that. thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos uh, i'll be uh, showing up the advanced troubleshooting also in coming uh, videos have a nice day bye for now